we are here at the Tbilisi Zoo, and they, normally when I go to a place, I, I like to visit the zoo because I've always done that since I was a kid, like animals and like cities. Now, before coming here, the reviews on the Tbilisi Zoo are really mixed, and some of them border on mentioning uh, you know, all those animal abuse. Um, so we're going to take a look and we're going to judge for ourselves because I like to have you know, boots on the ground. And so we're going to look at some of the enclosures and we're going to see for ourselves you know, what the animals look like. Here is a couple of raccoons and according to the mapping, they're only uh, found in North America and South America. So I guess they're not found in this part of the world. But uh, they, they look very healthy actually. <laughs> they look a lot healthier than your average wild raccoon that I, I see in the States. Now, just to start off, when I look at, I guess I judge in my own personal way an animal, it's, uh, I look at, you know, are they malnourished? Um, do they have a buddy? And do they have space? And I think here, this is the first enclosure we're going to, but they look very well fed. Uh, they have a buddy. Uh, I guess the buddy went around back there, maybe you saw it earlier. And they, I think this is adequate space, you know, if you consider the vertical space uh, for a raccoon. It's only a North American. So the, this enclosure is the baboons, and look at, looking at them, I think these are as, as well fed as any baboon I've seen in any other zoo, and I go to zoos a lot. Uh, they have obviously lots of buddies there, and there's, I'd say, plenty of space. There's an enclosure here as well as the, the out, outer area. Okay, so these are the lemurs. <laughs> And they're eating, they look well fed, they look healthy, they've got plenty of companionship, they got water in there, they got plenty of space. So they look to be well cared for. We'll move on to the next animal. So this is the peacock, and a, I saw another one back there, and there's a couple uh, lighter colored birds back there as well, and it looks very well cared for and very well fed has buddies and looks like it has space. So on to the next animal. Now we're at the zebras. And you can see there's a, there's a little zebra down there and obviously for uh, fully grown zebras, beautiful animals. Looks like they're well fed, well cared for, and if you look down there, there's a decent amount of space to, to run around. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you guys. So let's check out the next animal. This is the rhinoceros, and he looks fairly well fed. It's hard for me to tell because they're, they're always kind of big. Now, I don't see another rhinoceros, but if you look here, there's other animals. I think these are, from the top, these are donkeys. There's a goat. I guess that goat jumped over from the goat enclosure. And on this side, there is another, thinking that's a donkey as well, from the top. So it's not like he's in solitary. It's not like he doesn't have company. Uh, it's just not another rhinoceros. Uh, and over there, you can see the goats. And there's plenty of them. They're eating. They're eating well. They have plenty of friends, plenty of space. So, let's check out the next animal. Okay, so these are the antelopes. And it looks like there's a lot of space here. They look pretty healthy, well fed. And I can see four of them. There may be more down on this side, but yeah, they got a couple of friends with them to play with. All right, so here's obviously my favorite animal, the mongoose. Uh, there's three of them in there. They look pretty well fed. People feed them too. They got buddies. They got space. It's good to see this many mongooses. Go ahead. Okay, so. I'm not sure if you can see through this glass, you probably can't, but right through there is the space that connects the outdoor portion 
to this indoor portion where it's going to be a little cooler not sure why those guys are out there in the heat and towards the back there you can see there's there's water available uh, I can't really tell how how clean or fresh it is but but it's there this is a bird enclosure and one of the reviews I saw was that they don't have room to fly uh, I think they have some room to fly there's and the, there's one bird there you can see him moving around there's another one down on the ground there's another one in the corner so he's got a couple friends uh, looks like he's well fed um, I can see the point about the room to fly it's, there's not a lot of vertical height here but I don't I wouldn't consider this that bad all right so here things don't look so good that animal, I guess it's a raccoon or something. I'm not sure why he's not with the other raccoons. But he's here in isolation. Maybe he's sick or something. But it's kind of a hot day. I mean, he does have food. He does look well fed. But as you can see, there's not a lot of room here. I guess there's a little bit of vertical room. Um, but he doesn't have what looks to be a friend or a companion to play with. About midway through, a staff member reminded me of the no videotaping policy so I wasn't able to videotape all of the animals but I did go through and see all of the animals and the only thing that I noticed was that there was one camel and I didn't notice that it had another buddy with it however there was a little camel house in that enclosure and there could have been an animal in there just getting away from the sun overall I'd say these animals are as well cared for as any animal or any other zoo that you're going to look at. Now the reviews that talk about the facility itself, or the grounds, I, I see why people are saying that because uh, they're not really polished, right? So you'll, you'll see things that need attention that are not addressed. You'll see uh, areas that are overgrown. Uh, everywhere is accessible. It's a little messy because everywhere is accessible, right? So you could be going to what you think is, let's say, um, like, a, like a, a reptile house or something, but it'll be somebody's office. Or you will notice that, uh, like the food storage area, will have kids playing on the hay. The, the same hay that's used to feed the animals, right? So, I mean, it's just not what people are used to, I guess. It's a little bit more open here. Um, but as far as any reports on animal abuse, like I said, I have not seen that based on the criteria earlier, which is feeding, companionship, and space. You're gonna see that uh, the animals are as well cared for as any other zoo. Now let's talk about the ticket price. The, the prices of entry for an adult is only four Larry, which is about a buck 50, which is not a lot of money. In my opinion, a recommendation they should charge like ten dollars or like 27 lari and that would afford more staff so you can sort of clean up the facility a bit you know maintain the grounds address the areas you know that 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 uh that need the upkeep and even uh start to sort of uh, you know just brush and pretty up the animals so they're a little more presentable they present better to people um, and that would get uh, rid of a lot of the negative reviews. And that is uh, a look into the Tbilisi Zoo.